I almost couldn't believe what I was seeing. Even if I tried, I couldn't convince myself it was happening. But right in front of my eyes, attacking my curiosity like candy calling a child from a concession stand. I didn't know what told me to look through my lens when I did, but I did. Of all the time on the clock, why now? Funny part about it is, I knew the guy, at least I thought I did. It looked like that same guy from the hardware store. He was facing some other fellow. It looked like they were fighting over what? Something? I don't know. But whatever it was, it looked serious enough. The man begged the other man, the one from the store, to let him go. Let me go, twice he cries. Let me go. He stood up against the wall facing the glass screen. I could almost read his facial expressions. The anger he tossed across the room was horrifying enough. The other gentleman begging, pleading the guy from the shop, stop. When he raised his hand up sharply up in the air and hit that fellow across the head. I curled up in my seat, dropping the telescope. I blinked. You better get the police, whispering to myself. No one did. Besides, I didn't know who they were, where these people were. I didn't even know why they were fighting for that matter. Finally, I called up enough strength to look through my lens again when the next thing you know, in a split second, out of nowhere, a splash of blood splattered across the screen. The guy I thought I knew earlier shot that fellow with a 38 revolver. Quickly, my heart jumped, hearing sirens singing through the city. Paramedics, police, firemen, all circled around a huge building. I peeked through my telescope again, this time only to find the same guy holding a woman in a chokehold with the same revolver pressed up against her temple. I wish I could save her, watching intensely to see what was to happen next. I stepped out to use the restroom. When I came back to look through my lens again, you wouldn't believe what happened next. What? What? The unthinkable just happened. He shot her. So all of a sudden, the SWAT team from beneath all hurried up the staircase. No, don't, don't do it. The police and the people in the audience cried. With the huge bucket of popcorn in my lap, my telescope lens lodged between the seat. I turned to ask the woman sitting beside me. What's, what's going on? What happened? Why are they fighting? She pointed to the movie screen with her index finger saying, that, that man from the hardware store, he just shot that fella for sleeping with her with his wife.